Right, so welcome to part two or video tutorial number two of um, our mechanical task and C block. We're going to now draw the top view of this object. So let's go to the rod guard uh, dimensions. So if we have a look at this from the top view, the dimensions that we're going to be working with, well, the framework within which we will draw is going to be, again, a total of 100 for length, because from the top view, we, we keep length, and then we're going to have a depth of 64. So in order to set that up on CAD, what I'm going to do here is add my constructions back. Um, we want to, want to turn the layer on, right? So I've turned that layer on, and we're going to use these constructions to aid us. Now I'm going to click on this over here, and we're going to offset that a total of 20, just as we would do. We would offset a total of 20 because we would have a 10 mil margin to an axis and then another 10 mil margin. So now we're ready to draw off that, and I'm going to draw the rest of the framework. We know that we have a 64 here, so we're going to go 64 up, 64 in depth. Then we're going to come across, and as I do that, watch what happens. If I pull this across and I've got my snaps on, I just hover my mouse on that point, and you'll see that it snaps a perfect 100. So there we go. We've got 100 by 64. We've got the framework within which to construct the, um, the circle. Right, now, the next step is to... Let's work from the outside in. So we're going to look at this little groove detail. We know we have a 12 millimeter um, uh, sort of, we, we, we offset from 12 from the outside. And now we need to work, um, how, work out how um, wide that, um, or how deep that groove is. So we've got a total of 64. Now how are we gonna work this out is we're gonna use a little bit of math. We're gonna take the total of 64 in the depth and we're gonna subtract 40 because each of these part, portions of the groove here, the uh, sort of the, the sort of U shapes, the uprights on either side are going to be 20 in width, 20 in width, minus uh, 60. So it's 64 minus 40. That'll give us a total of 24 for that space. So we've got 20 from the outside and 20 in total in terms of depth. So we're going to go offset um, 20. Alternatively, if we don't want to offset, we can just pull that line up. Just pull that line up. And then we know if we get a center marking in, have a look here. I'll get a center marking in across that way. And if I go offset, enter, I can use the command of 12 below and above to create that little groove space. Perfect. All right, so there it is in construction at this point. Then, if I project these, uh, that point there, that corner and that corner, because if we look at it from the top view, sorry, we look at it from the top view, we're going to see that corner there, and we're going to see the other corner there. So I'm going to go and, sorry, go ahead and construct that. So we're going to go construction line up, snap on there to that perpendicular, perpendicular right click, repeat line. So we're using simple projection method here. Take that up, and then obviously we can have hidden detail on the inside with the center marking. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and take that up so that we've got it, and then have to remeasure. Here we go. I'm then going to go and trim all these, uh, trim all those projections out just for the sake of neatness. I don't want too many lines all over the place. Now within the framework there, you we can start to piece this drawing out. So how am I going to do that? Well. I'm going to go get my outlines, line command outlines, and I'm going to go ahead and start to draw this in. So you'll notice there, if I go back, control Z, I made an error because I have drawn too long. So we're going to go there, there, it's there, and in over there to get that groove, back out, along the front and do the same, repeat the same on the other side. You just gotta remember which intersecting lines you will be using for that groove. Um, and there we go. So we've got the grooves now. We need to do the um, lines to indicate where the rounding will meet the base in the top view. Excellent. Um, seems like I've gone too far there. Sorry, I've got, I'm using the wrong projection line there. So we're gonna use that line rather. So, so far, if I go now, you'll notice if I go and hide my constructions, the, the, the outside edges the, the, that we need to see, the outlines, are all there and visible. However, we need to go and construct the hidden detail for the 
um, for the circle on the inside as well as a center marking down the middle. So I'm going to put the constructions back, turn the layer on, and I'm going to work with these lines. I'm going to highlight these two lines, right? Let's go to layer properties here, and we're going to create a new layer, and we're going to call it hidden. So all our hidden detail is going to be, belong to this. So the hidden we want to create as a blue line. We can use any of those blues. Make sure it's just dark enough when we print it out on, on white paper. So we're going to use that as blue. And the same thing here, we're going to go to 0 0.05. And the line type we want to load. So we want to click on line type. And then we're going to go down to hidden. And we're going to use the standard hidden detail. So say OK. We're going to click on that and then say OK, and it will automatically add it as a hidden type. So if I go click on both those lines, because we know that hidden, and I click on hidden, it'll make turn those into hidden details. Now the thing is that the scale again is just off, so I'm going to click on both, right, right click, properties, and the scale I'm going to do again is try 15 as we did for the center marking, um, and there we go, so we can see that hidden detail. I think 15 is a bit small for that, so we're going to do 20, uh, that's that seems to be about right. So the hidden details in. Now I'm going to go hide my constructions. Right, turn that off. And now what we're going to do is set a center marking down the middle here. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to let um, we're going to let AutoCAD do it for us automatically. So I'm going to go to annotate. Now we're going to use the different center line because we want to center line down the length of the hole. So we're going to click on that, and then it's going to select first line and second line, and then we're going to press enter. So let's try that again, first line and second line. It seems it won't read it maybe because it is a hidden detail. So let's try that again and see if we can try it again as an outline and see if it will work. So what I'll do then is I'll go back to my um, construction lines. Right, so let's try it one more time and then we can revert to, to a different line type. So I'm going to go annotate again, center line, and I'm going to click there, and I'm going to click there. It seems to be working now. All right. If it doesn't work, select this. So let's go back one. So control Z, control Z. If it's not working, just click on your hidden detail lines again. Go home, make them constructions. All right. Then go add in your center line, left and right. There's your center line. Okay, so I'm going to add, I'm going to create those again as hidden details now. So that's what we need there. Great. And remember, your center line is going to be red. Now we're going to give it a very similar, so we're going to click on it, right click, and we're going to go to properties, and I'm going to give it a line type scale of 15 as I did for the one before. Right. Now the only thing is it doesn't extend enough, so I'm going to go start extension to end extension to and properties, click enter. And there we have our top view. We take the constructions away, turn them off, and there we have it. The constructions, excuse me, the constructions are now turned off, so we've got the perfect outlines for the top view, except for we haven't got our hidden detail in. So let's go ahead, and I need to go and put that back, so I've got to go to constructions, turn layer on. If you remember, we changed that. So let me put hidden detail back. Great. Then I can go and hide my constructions. Right, there we have it. Ready to go, just as it, it would be seen, um, just as you would have uh, constructed it in your book. Right, so in the next uh, video, we're going to look at how to do the uh, sectional, I think it's left side view.